It is late afternoon on the Mekong River in Cambodia. In Dayum Rokar commune, Keone is busy plowing his paddy fields. When the rains come, his land will be naturally irrigated by the river waters, providing his household with a stock of rice to last the entire year. Down near the riverbank, Keone's wife, Nan Fa, is busy feeding the family cattle. Their fodder too comes from the vegetation floating on the river surface. Out on the river, Van Na and his wife Sopon are hoping for a good catch of fish today. A little down the shore, Jantu is collecting shells from the river sand, which will make a tasty meal for the family dinner. Like millions who live along the Mekong, the lives of Dayum Rokar's villagers depend a great deal upon the river's bounty. ตะเลนั้นปดอลพอลประยอดឲ្យពជាពលរដ្ឋនៅភូមិដើមលកានឹងបានល្អក្នុងឆ្នាំនេះមកអឺល្អហាមត់ខ្ញុំបានត្រ
enhancing cooperation in addressing transboundary flood issues. Flood emergency management strengthening and land management. Through this integrated approach, the FMMP aims to minimise the hardship and loss caused by floods and to harness them as a positive force in the development of the Mekong's communities. Flood Emergency Management Strengthening, or FEMS, is a key component of the FMMP. The component's main aim is to enable government officials at all levels to understand the need for flood planning and to train them to develop and implement such plans. The program funded by GIZ and ECHO covered 11 provinces and 28 districts in the four member countries which is Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam and Thailand. We chose the target districts based on the fact that these are the most flood prone areas in the Lower Mekong Basin. The first step in implementing the FEMS component was to conduct an institutional role analysis of existing bodies looking after flood planning and management and identify problems with their functioning. In Cambodia, this work is handled by a special national committee for disaster management at the country level and similar committees below it at the provincial, district and commune levels. In Vietnam, the responsibility for flood planning and management comes under the Department of Dike Management, Flood and Storm Control or DDM-FSC, which is part of the Ministry of Agriculture. But though systems of this kind had already been in existence for several years, the culture of advanced planning for floods had still to take root in the system and needed strengthening. The strategy the FEMS adopted was not to tell officials what they should do, but rather to help them develop the plans themselves through a participatory and consensus building approach. បានចុះសិក្សាអំពី <coughs> One important focus of planning was showing local level officials how to conduct damage and needs assessment in an organised and planned manner. Another key aspect of the flood preparedness plan was training officials in how to make a systematic inventory of existing resources for flood mitigation. ខ្ញុំមានបីទីទូលសវត្ថភាពក្នុងនោះមានជាដូវទឹកគុណនាមៃនិងកន្លែងស្នាក់នៅរបស់ប្រជាពលរដ្ឋដែលគាត់ចម
After several rounds of review and modification, final plans were drawn up for each province and district and endorsed by participating officials who felt a strong sense of ownership as a result. ការគ្រប់គ្រងគ្រប់ហ៊ុនរ៉ាយនេះពីមុនការបណ្ដោះបណ្ដាលនេះសូម្បីតែការប្រើពាក្យពេញការងារគ្រប់គ្រងគ្
An important element of any flood plan is to improve the skills and functioning of search and rescue teams in the event of a flood. This has worked particularly well in Anjiang, where such teams have already been put in place by the administration in partnership with agencies like the military and the Vietnam Red Cross. Qua cái chương trình mà dự án mà tăng cường lũ quản lý khẩn cấp hỗ trợ cho địa phương tập huấn nó bài bản hơn những cái kiến thức mà trong cái công tác mà tìm kiếm cứu hộ cứu nạn rồi sơ cấp cứu cho anh em thì qua cái lớp tập huấn này thì anh em ở chốt cứu hộ cứu nạn nó đã mình nắm bắt được những cái tình huống mà mình cần xử lý ví dụ như cái phương tiện mà bà con người ta đi lại bị chìm xuồng để cứu vớt và cách thức hô hấp như thế nào nó bài bản hơn và nó đúng theo cái lớp mà huấn luyện cho anh em Reducing vulnerability to floods also requires a special focus on those groups within the village who are most vulnerable, like children. Enhancing the skills of child caretakers, such as emergency kindergarten teachers, was therefore treated as an important program priority. Ngoài cái chương trình là giữ trẻ trong mùa lũ để đảm bảo cái an toàn cho trẻ thì cái ngành giáo dục đã đưa vào cái chương trình giáo dục mầm non, chương trình giáo dục mầm non cho trẻ. Thì trong cái chương trình giáo dục mầm non thì nó ngoài những này là chăm sóc về vệ sinh nè, là về chăm sóc về dinh dưỡng nè, rồi là về các cái 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 cái, cái đặc điểm tâm sinh lý cho trẻ em. Thì trong đó thì cũng có hướng dẫn cho các cô nuôi dạy để về tạo ra những cái món đồ chơi gọi là những cái mọi chơi tự làm, rẻ tiền và sẵn có ở địa phương. Large numbers of children throughout the region were taught to swim to reduce the number of deaths by drowning during floods. Địa phương mình á là cũng như ở đồng bằng sông Cửu Long á là 6 tháng là mùa nước lũ mà các cháu ở nhà thì không có cái điều kiện để tập bơi cũng như là tập bơi không đúng kỹ thuật. Do vậy mà ở địa phương có mở cái lớp đó, cho nên nó là tôi đem cháu đến để tập cho nó đúng cái kỹ thuật. Chứ nó biết cái cách là xuống bơi đằng để nó né cái bị chết đuối vào cái mùa 6 tháng mùa nước lũ. A special effort was made to target those households where the mainstay of the house is the woman because of family circumstances such as migration, divorce or widowhood. Trời bị thua ca sập sai hỏi in any disaster risk reduction effort, the design and implementation of a good public awareness program is one of the most effective ways to reach out to stakeholders. <laughs> Recognising this, a major public awareness campaign was undertaken by the FEMS to complement and reinforce its other objectives. Printed materials were used most widely, such as these flood information booklets, which contained information about flood preparedness measures and survival tips during floods. Wide use was also made of a video jointly developed by the Vietnam Red Cross and Oxfam called Living with Floods, with which villagers could easily identify. The use of community stage plays and folk songs as a medium for disseminating flood risk reduction information also proved to be extremely popular. 
ขนมกรรมวิธีในการทำนายนี้ยืงตะตัวกลมรุ่งปีขนมนุกสัลปะในจะไปดองเวจะไปชลองชลอยนึกตุ่มรุ่งตีมวยตุ่มรุ่งตีปียืงเรียบจอมจองกรองเกียร์กรองมาใหญ่เรื่องเตะเตงนั่งปฏิญบัตครูมอนตายเอาถือการเรียนวิชากับพลายจงรวมจมูกนองทองนาเทอมูทานคือตัวสกอตเลือดสกามเพียบได้เยอะบางจงถือการสอบสายกาสหกาถือเอาสกามเพียบในการสอบสายนั่งเมียนเพียบกอกอเอ็มก็กอจงจุนจันนายที่นิ้วจงคือมูลุกใหญ่ที่không có chủ quan đi dân câu lưới phải đem theo thùng nhựa và không chủ quan mà đem rượu theo uống với trẻ em Apart from mass public awareness, specific awareness creation efforts were also made targeting the most vulnerable groups in the village, such as school children. For instance, educational school flood safety programs were organized in government schools across Chao Tan district. <laughs> ở đây có thể là trẻ em bị chết đuối cũng cái số lượng cũng rất là đông với nhà cửa mà là không có cũng như không có lo được cái trước cái chuyện lũ lụt xảy ra đó thì nhà cửa hay bị sập này kia đó. trường học thì giáo viên và học sinh lồng ghép dạy lồng ghép cho để cho học sinh nắm về nó tiên truyền lại giống như là học sinh cũng là một cái, cái thành viên ở trong cái tiểu ban cộng đồng của cái phòng chống lụt bão Teachers too were trained on various aspects of flood preparedness to enable them to teach the subject better in the classroom. In any transnational program such as the FMMP, facilitating the exchange of experience and sharing of resources across borders is crucial. To achieve this objective, a series of national level workshops and study tours were organized in which disaster committee officials from both Cambodia and Vietnam were invited to interact and share their experiences. Ở Campuchia thì đoàn Việt Nam chúng tôi học tập và trao đổi kinh nghiệm với lại một số cái cơ quan trung ương ví dụ như là Ủy ban sông Mekong Campuchia rồi À, hội chữ thập đỏ Campuchia, cái ủy ban phòng chống cứu nạn của Campuchia và hai tỉnh Cần Đan và Preven. The cross-border interactions also help lay the basis for province-to-province -province assistance in times of an emergency. Năm 2007, giữa ủy ban sông Mê Công Việt Nam, rồi giữa ban chỉ huy phòng chống lục bão của An Giang, rồi của Cần Đan đã có một cái hội thảo à, chia sẻ những cái công việc, những cái kinh nghiệm mà hai bên phải làm. Thí dụ như là đối với ban chỉ huy phòng chống lục bão thì sẽ có những cái thông tin chia sẻ về cái à, tình hình à, diễn biến mực nước thủy văn của phía trên nguồn và phía dưới nguồn. Cái thứ hai nữa đó là chia sẻ những kinh nghiệm về công tác tổ chức quản lý điều hành khi có thiên tai xảy ra. Cái thứ ba nữa là hỗ trợ cho hai bên gặp khó khăn. When implementing a program of this kind, the biggest challenge is how to make it sustainable. The answer lies in mainstreaming or formally integrating disaster risk reduction measures into existing development plans, as has already been done to a great extent in Vietnam. The main thing is that the work is in the work of the work, 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 
cái sự quan tâm và cái chú ý của chính phủ các bộ ngành và địa phương và cái việc là đưa các cái yếu tố rủi ro thiên tai vào trong các cái chiến lược các cái kế hoạch này mà để có cái yếu tố phòng ngừa và coi phân bổ nguồn lực ưu tiên cho những cái dự án mà quan trọng nhất tránh đầu tư giàn trải và có tính đến cái vấn đề rủi ro thiên tai có thể xảy ra trong cái thời gian của kế hoạch. In Cambodia, it was the program to support democratic development through decentralization or PSDD that provided the way forward. The PSDD gives local communes the responsibility and control over their own development, which also includes access to a limited amount of financial resources. As the mainstreaming process moves forward, the multidimensional efforts of the FEMS program to strengthen people's resilience to floods is slowly beginning to make a difference in the Mekong Delta. Next time the monsoon arrives, Kayone and his fellow villagers can rest assured that they will know well in advance when a heavy flood is coming. All households in the village are aware of what precautions they need to take at home to protect their belongings and ensure survival if water levels suddenly rise. A radio telephone is available with the village chief to alert the provincial search and rescue team if anyone needs to be rescued. All children in the village have been trained to swim and save themselves from drowning. The commune pagoda down the river has been identified as a safe area and is always kept in a state of readiness for an emergency evacuation. All this is a direct outcome of the efforts of the FEMS programme and its predecessors over the past decade. But there are hundreds of Dayum Rakars all along the Mekong that still have to be reached. There is a long way left to go before every commune in the Mekong Delta is fully equipped to face floods. The MRC's FEMS experience provides an excellent model for replication across the region. But the challenge has only just begun.